Uh, Tenai, um, you know, must be a, a lot of disappointment on on from Tuesday night because um, it. I don't think anyone saw that performance coming. And for a large part of the game, there was nothing in it. And then the, the goal kind of ultimately decided it. Yeah, yeah, 100%, I think. That's the perfect word, disappointment, really. Um, it's short-lived in situations like this because you've got to focus on the next. Um, but yeah, like you said, I think in those games, you come away and if, if you're not going to get a result and you know you, it's not a good performance, you, you don't come away with a loss. You won at least a point, so very, very disappointing. Um, but on to the next and full focus uh, on tomorrow. Are there any nerves around the place? Is that any anything to do with what happened on Tuesday? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. Um, well, not that I could tell anyway. I, I don't think nerves is necessarily the right word. I think we've channeled it quite well, I feel like anyway. And if it is nerves, it's kind of been put on the pitch. And um, in training, we've kind of just gone a bit harder. And, you know, like I said, focused on tomorrow and trying to correct the result on Tuesday. Has any of the message been at times rather than play the ball into the back of the net, just hit it every now and again. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I would say, well, on a personal note, the boys tell me that all the time. So, um, yeah, but I think in general, 100%, I think following um, the game, obviously uh, prior to that, that has been a message, but following the game especially, I feel like we are a team that create, you know, good situations um, and good things can come from that. But I think if you don't, you know, take a little risk or take a shot or you know, concentrate on that final pass. That's when that's when the goals don't come and that's what we need. Um so yeah, to answer your question, yeah, that is that is a message, yeah. It wasn't aimed at you by the way. Yeah. It's all right. I guess now, I mean there's not much that we you, me, Toby, you know, and and with Mark as well, there's not much to, to really talk about. The bottom line is it is bodies on the line, a hundred and ten percent if if you okay with me saying that, I know some people hate that expression, but absolute commitment to the last three games, and that starts on on Saturday. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I think um, it's difficult sometimes to talk in, in these situations. Well, personally, I feel like anyway because it's it doesn't really mean much um, when you sit there and talk about doing something until you do it. Um, so yeah, definitely focus on these last three games, and I think. We've got to focus on the positives in this situation. It may be hard, but at the end of the day, it's in our hands and we've got an opportunity with every game that we step into to put in, put our best foot forward and put in a performance. Um, so that's it, really. You've got to do that, no excuses. And just away from the team, and I know this is probably quite difficult to talk about because um, because of the position that the side, side's in at the moment, but you must be quite actually quite pleased personally with the way you're playing at the moment. You must be quite pleased with your own personal performances this season. But it's difficult to say that with everything that's going on, and I understand that. But if you just take that aside, you, you know, you play some some decent football, you know, considering you're out for a bit. No, I appreciate that. I think um, it definitely has. It's been a different dynamic this season in terms of, well, one, like the role that I'm playing in the team, different positions, etc. And I think it's something that I've um, grew into a bit. You know, coming like you said, coming back from injury, um, it's sometimes hard to hit the ground running. Um, but I felt, yeah, definitely, I feel it's, it's hard to say positive or happy about it. But I, I definitely think on a personal note, I've tried to go out there every week and, and do my job to the best of my ability. Um, I think it's just disappointing sometimes. I'm very self-critical, so I could have uh, a blinder of a game. We come, come in nil-nil, even a draw you know, nil nil or one nil defeat and I'm I'm raging, it takes me a, a while to get over that. Um so my performance kinda goes out the window, um, if that makes sense. But yeah, hundred percent to answer your question I think, especially going back to right wing back, I, I really enjoy playing there. Um I'll play anywhere for the team. Um but yeah I enjoy playing there and I think I've put in a couple decent performances. So yeah. And that's, I mean, just what you've indicated there, the ability to step in and out of positions, that's that's personal development full stop, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. 100%. It, it gets you more, especially like if you've got a partnership, you know, like a right wing or a right, right back or a right back and a right centre back. When you step into those different positions, you see it from, you know, their perception and stuff and you get a different idea of how they play the game. Um, so when you go back to your original position, you know, you've got an extra tool in the toolbox um, if that makes sense so yeah
All good. Thanks, T. Cheers. Thank you. With the run that the team's just gone on, and you know, like you rightly said, it's it's now put the fate of MK Dons in your own hands. You know, you're you you get the results, you're going to stay up. That must give you confidence going into these last three games that you just need to string a, a couple more results together, and you're pretty much there. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think that's what it's about when you're in situations like this to to look at the positives and what you're in control of and do everything in your power um, to basically get the best results. And I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of different ways you can look at it. You could you could feel the pressure and you know be caught up on that, but I don't think that's the the vibe or anything in around the place. I think it's just you know a bit of excitement really leading into these games to know we've got an opportunity to. Um, get the job done basically there's no shying away from it though is there these are these are three huge huge games coming up 100 percent. yeah i think everyone knows the gravity of it um and it's not surprising you know i think in the last couple of weeks we everyone knows the results and how they've been going and what we've needed to do um and that has been the aim so yeah leading into these last three it's, it's the same thing we know how big they are and uh, what results we need so when you look at it, though, you think, you know, at the start of the run, you think if you go on a seven game unbeaten run, it should be done and dusted, shouldn't it, really? But I mean, the fact that other other teams have been picking up results along the way means yeah. it's 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 still a fight. Yeah, 100 percent. I don't think you can ever like get comfortable until, you know, math mathematically you're safe. Um, and I don't think we have, like you said, if you, if you go on a run like that, you would expect, you know, maybe a bit more breathing room. Um, but. It is what it is at the end of the day. We can't just look around and be like, oh, they've got this point. And we, we've got to do everything, every game to get three points. And if we do that, then that's job done.